Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service Office in San Diego. Hey, we've got precipitation coming in late this week on Friday. Mostly showers and, and not heavy, so most of the precipitation will be light. We will see some snow in the mountains, so that'll affect some of our travel over our state highways and passes. Now the bigger news is that Santa Ana winds are likely next week. It looks like the time to be most concerned about Santa Ana winds will be Tuesday through Thursday of next week. I also wanted to mention as we start this webinar, the king tides. So we're looking at peaks on our coast and beaches in the morning hours for this upcoming weekend as shown here. Up to seven foot at its peak on Saturday. Here are the headlines. So precipitation, there's a frontal system coming in Friday morning early. Uh, behind this is colder air, so snow levels will drop down to about 5,000 feet. And we do expect some accumulation over our mountain areas. Not widespread, but some of our mountain areas, such as the Big Bear region. Now, scattered showers will continue and redevelop Friday evening and Friday night, mainly in the San Bernardino Mountains and San Diego County Mountains. Uh, we'll see partial clearing on Saturday and then north winds, uh, a drier wind starts to develop Saturday night and Sunday, milder on Monday. Then we look at a separate system producing Santa Ana winds starting Monday night and Tuesday and peak intensity could be mid next week, Wednesday into Thursday. So we could be looking at some locally strong Santa Ana winds and then that could lead to critical fire weather conditions and then warm really warm conditions along the coast. And we'll talk about that a little bit in this webinar. We will see some wind coming in and this is onshore wind west to northwest winds. So it affects our mountain, desert slopes, mountain passes, I-10, I-8, and up around the 15 and I-40. And the winds increase over our ocean as well. So small craft conditions out there. Now the weekend will be featured by cold temperatures in the mornings behind the cold front coming in. So some of our coldest temperatures of the year should occur in the high desert, the mountain areas, and even some of our interior valleys. So keep that in mind, cold mornings, Saturday and Sunday. Precipitation will be widespread across California, but generally light. Now for Southern California, we're looking at most of the precipitation banking up against the mountain areas. This storm doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with, so under a tenth of an inch for most areas. But where some of those more persistent, heavier showers occur along the, what we call the coastal slopes you see in dark green, and in parts of San Diego County, a lot like the storm we had in early November, those areas a quarter inch is possible um, with locally higher in the most favored foothills. I mentioned snow and this is what we're looking at here. A couple inches of snow uh, is expected. So chain control is possible. Some slippery road conditions are possible later on Friday and Friday night. Maybe even the first dusting of snow in the San Diego mountains. So here's the weather pattern for Friday, Saturday. A cold storm system comes down out of Canada, sweeps across California into Southern California. And behind that, we see north winds developing. Very normal progression of a cold front, which has limited moisture to work with. When we get into Monday, where eyes are drawn to another system Okay, so our original system kicks out into the plains in Texas, but a new system, that L, moves across Montana and the Northern Rockies. I'll explain what the significance of that is. First, it'll set up the north winds, as shown here. Wind blows from high to low pressure. On Tuesday, that second system now starts to merge with the plain storm. So you've got two L's going across Minnesota. But more importantly for us, we've got high pressure at the surface, at the low levels, building over the Great Basin. That develops the stronger offshore flow 
for the Santa Ana win starting Tuesday. That doesn't go away. Um, even though the main storm system now over the Great Lakes by next Wednesday merged with that cold air, the high pressure at the surface over Utah remains. So we have offshore flow. But look at the difference of what happens in the rest of the atmosphere above us. It really warms up. So the air mass is warming above us combined with that offshore Santa Ana wind that's ongoing on Wednesday. And we get really warm conditions above average temperatures along the coast and valleys. Here are the highlights again. Um, and our main theme is widespread but generally light precipitation, scattered heavier showers, cold enough to produce some snow in our mountains, the king tides through the weekend. Uh, the north wind behind this storm sets up Saturday night and Sunday, but then we see a shift to more of your classic Santa Ana winds for Tuesday through Thursday, and those could bring high fire danger and locally strong winds and widespread general Santa Ana wind conditions. So low humidity and then that warming along the coast. The warming along the coast could bring above average temperatures for mid next week. You can check the latest alerts at the link shown here. You can also monitor the rain conditions. How much rain fell? How strong are those winds? These two links can help you and guide you through and display that in real time or even display past information. Those are very handy, useful links. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks for joining this latest edition of the precipitation coming in, followed by the extended period of drier and increasing Santa Ana winds.